everyone, I'm Malvika from Piece of Bay and today I bring you a really really simple recipe which combines the quintessential flavors of Arabia, ones that have sort of nostalgic notes and things that we grew up drinking or flavors that we grew up appreciating, combined with an ingredient that is so representative of Ramadan. So today we're about to make chai date roulade, which is a sponge cake that's been rolled. And uh, let me take you through the ingredients. You will need eggs separated, caster sugar, vanilla, all-purpose flour, corn flour, milk, oil, spices, date paste, whipping cream, whole spices and eight pitted dates stuffed. We're going to start with whipping up the egg whites. Um, we have here three egg whites that have been separated. We're going to whisk this up first. So you'll notice that the consistency of the whipped egg whites has now changed. It's become quite foamy. This is the stage you're going to add the caster sugar and we're going to whip it to um, a stiff consistency so that it's um, really stable for us to add in other ingredients. So it's going to be a little bit of noise, but we're going to continue with the recipe. So you know you now have a stiff consistency once you flip over the bowl and none of it falls. So it's a really good consistency now. So we're going to set this aside. Into this, we have the egg yolks that were previously separated. We're just going to add that in here. This can actually be done by hand because it's quite a small quantity. You won't actually need to do it with another um, stand mixer or a hand beater. Add in the smaller portion of caster sugar. You can add all of that in together and take a whisk and combine this. Now you're just going to do this until it's really light and um, light and pale in color. Now's a really good time for you to add um, the vanilla extract. In order to have a really airy sponge-like consistency, we're separating the eggs and getting the volume from there versus getting it from maybe another evening agent like baking powder or baking soda. To add in the oil, combine the spices along with the milk and just mix that up. and add that in to our batter as well. I'm gonna mix this up first before we add in the flour. All right, so now we have the sifted all-purpose flour and corn flour in here. I'm just gonna add that entirely into the bowl and just combine until you have like a really nice consistent batter. Add in a third of the egg whites straight into the egg yolk mixture and you don't really have to be very gentle with this you're just trying to loosen up the egg yolk mixture so we're going to combine this it's beautiful, the batter looks really pretty and once we pour it into our prepared baking dish, you'll see it has all of these little specks of the cinnamon powder and the nutmeg and clove and ginger. All right, and what we're now going to do is to transfer this entire cake batter into the egg whites. So this is what we'll do. 
And remember that this is quite an airy batter, so you don't want to deflate it. So I'll show you how we kind of fold in the yolks into the egg white so that we still retain all of that air. All right. So while folding, remember to take it from the inside and cut through in the middle. So that is the kind of motion that you want to replicate. Again, there's so many really beautiful air pockets that's going to make this cake batter really spongy and you don't want to sort of deflate that by being too harsh with your egg whites. Just make sure everything is well combined and then we're ready to put this into our cake pan. We're just gonna pour out the cake batter into this and I have the oven preheating uh, at 160 degrees Celsius. The cake batter out. Smooth out the cake batter. Make sure to go to all of the edges and you want this cake to bake absolutely even so don't miss out on any spots. Now that we have the batter completely smooth, we're going to bang a couple of times to remove those air pockets and make sure everything is completely flat. And we're going to take this to the oven now to bake for about 25-30 minutes until it's beautiful golden brown. So the cake is out of the oven and I've run a knife through the edges just to loosen the cake a little bit. And over here we have a parchment paper with a baking sheet and I'm going to just flip this onto our cake and flip it over. So you're just going to peel away the parchment. And to this, we're going to just add the date paste. Now, if you don't have ready-made date paste, you can just soak pitted dates in hot water and leave it for about 15, 20 minutes until it softens and then just blend it in your blender. And that's pretty much what we have here. And roll this. So the first one, we just squeeze down under like this. So that's your beautiful little log. We're now going to roll this and set it aside in the fridge for about two hours to cool and let all of the date paste and cake sort of combine into one layer. And then we're gonna come back, um, brew the Karak whipped cream. We're gonna let that cool and then whip it and decorate it with the dates. See you in a bit. So while our cake is now chilling in the fridge, we're going to prepare our whipped cream. And the whipped cream has flavors of karak chai in it. We're gonna heat the cream, add in cinnamon, add in clove, whole spice, and nutmeg, a teaspoon of black tea. Just gonna add that in here. And allow this to come to a boil. Now that it's come to a boil, I'm gonna turn off um, the flame and allow um, the flavors to sort of seep into the cream. Uh, I will then strain the tea leaves and the spices out and put it back into the fridge to cool completely before we whip it up with sugar. So we're going to start now to whip our Karak whipped cream. So in a bowl, I've added 10 grams of icing sugar to which we're going to add the 100 ml of our Karak steeped cream. And we're going to now whisk this up. So 
there you have it perfectly whipped karak chai um, whipping cream and we're now going to fill this into a piping bag and you could choose to do this step with the karak chai if uh, you don't want to you can always end up just doing a layer of whipped cream we're gonna pipe our beautiful karak whipped cream on the top place some of these beautiful dates that we've pitted and stuffed with almonds you can stuff it with apricots and just arrange it on the top and there you have it chai date roulade stuffed with date paste and has a topping of karak chai whipped cream on the top along with stuffed dates you can always decorate this with maybe a little bit of gold leaf but i think it's perfect just the way it is i hope you've enjoyed this recipe today and do let us know if you make it ramadan kareem